All right. So it's been about a week since I posted anything. Sorry about that. Um, been helping my father-in-law and mother-in-law around the house, around their house. Um, father-in-law has pretty much terminal cancer, so as much as I could do for them, we'll do. Uh, which this week was quite a bit, but. I have time now so I'm gonna do what I feel is the best way to break down these motors um, I see a lot of or the best way to take the copper out I see a lot of people beat the living heck out of them um, to get the copper out of these most of the ones that I come across with this kind they say it's too much of a pain because you have to chisel around or try to unwind it but I'm gonna show you all the way I do it so we'll start off with this one with this as you see I take my circular saw which I didn't do on here because I want to make this as quick or as knowledgeable as possible and then I separate them right I'll go through and separate them I usually use my butter knife and now this is not the butter knife I eat with but I'll separate it. And then once I separate it, I stick in the butter knife. Like so. I get my hammer. And I tap. And the copper comes immediately out. You may have to give it one or two wax. But you get the pretty much the whole piece of copper. As long as you don't get the plastic which this one is trying to give me plastic but oh missed copper right out and these are good decent heavy pieces of copper so you want to keep your copper let's see how long it'll take me to strip this one down see if y'all feel that way not if you feel it was worth it for me because to me all of this is worth it um mainly because I take the copper in at the end of the year or most of my scrap in at the end of the year for my kids for Christmas so all the little bit that I get is pretty pretty good for us um, oh that one's in the plastic like I said you hit the plastic it won't go through and the closer you can get it to the center the better that's the issue I'm having with a lot of these I didn't cut them straight so as I'm hitting them one side is still scrabby and if one side grabs it will not pop out so try to cut in the center the best you can other than that it should be pretty easy I mean this is way better than when you have those videos where they fast forward it and it's like 30 minutes of fast forward or you really can't tell because they fast forward it because well it's a lot of beating But so yeah, so other than this, I'll keep going on this, but I'll tell y'all some of the stuff that I've been doing for my father and mother-in-law. Well, this weekend their spotlight stopped working, so or this weekend, this week. See, I'm still stuck on if it's like uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. See, so I'm calling it this weekend, and it's what Thursday. Gosh. Um, I fixed their spotlights, fixed the pool shower in the back, um, fixed the fuel or pool pump like four different times because as soon as I fix one part, another piece 
would go bad. Um, so yeah, I mean, then I had to wait most of the last few days at their house so I could get a handyman out there because I can't keep doing it for multiple reasons. Um, I got a lot to do. And I'm not really certified to do a lot of it. I can, I'm just not certified. So they need to get the kitchen redone because it's 60, 70 years old. Um, the pool needs to get redone because, well, the walls are falling apart. Oh, got the plastic on that one. See, I don't know if y'all can see it. When I say plastic, all this, if you grab that plastic or hit on the inside, the piece usually doesn't come out. So you want to get it on the inside of that plastic and hit the flat or butter knife. This thing went far. All right, and then from this tiny motor, you ended up with all this nice copper. So that was that one. These I really don't like, but they're not hard to break down. Now these, I love these motors. Like if I was able to choose which motors to break down, these would be the ones every single time. No, no questions. Um, but I don't, I don't do like you see all the other scrappers. I do not take a chisel and beat down on the copper trying to get the copper out um for multiple reasons the copper bends it takes forever to do me personally i like to find where most of the copper overlaps and i'll get a pry bar in between and so, like so. This is the only real beating towards the copper I do. But, and that's purely for me to get my pry bar in. Um, because once my pry bar is in, then I just hit it all the way through to the other side. and out the other side. And now I got a pry bar that's stuck inside. Now this is the fun part. I take an old copper shell, or copper shell, huh? well my brain really ain't working, motor shell, and I take that piece and slide it right back in now i'll take a smaller chisel not this one sorry about that this one and i'll just pop it a few times Back and forth, but I'm not hitting the copper, I'm just hitting the metal. Normally I do this on the floor. Um, I can see the floor is kind of dirty right now because I didn't, I guess I didn't rush to do a lot of everything. I just don't know if I'm going to break my counter by continuing to hit counter all right so let me get this one here what the heck is going on now my post doesn't want to grab all right 
get this all on. This over here. Alright, so. Because I'm beating the heck out of my counter and I don't want that. So, our workbench. Take your chisel and your sledgehammer and hit. Hit. And just keep driving it down. Normally I have two coming in from each side. Um, I don't know where my other one, my other bar went. That's why we only have one right now. So, normally you have a cross. And because you have a cross, it pulls up on all four corners at once. Which usually, Pulls the copper right out. Um, this is pretty much out already. I know there's going to be one spot that did not want to let go. And we're going to pull that up now. Let's see where that spot is. Yeah, everything pretty much gave out except for this. And we're going to fix that real quick. That's easy. We just take this and hammer it straight across like we did before. I probably don't even need to hammer it, but yeah. And then we just, because the other side was pretty much out. So all I had to do, do that. Now, like I said, if you have two of these crisscrossing, um, it pulls right out. Metal bars, rebar, stuff like that. It does pretty much the same thing. Um, the copper never breaks, so you don't end up with it ripping here and leaving half in and half out. It never does that because you're never beating on the copper. Um, so, as you see... But you always leave the side with the wires and all the tape and the glue in. But if you look where we be we're beating, none of the copper broke here. And that's where we started. And if you go across from there, over here, see? A lot of pressure was there, but nothing fell apart. Um, and anybody that has taken apart a motor knows it's a pain when you're chiseling this. What y'all see me do is nowhere near as hard as it is if you try to beat the copper. Um, I used to beat the copper. That was five or six years ago. And I could do about 15, 20 motors a night. A lot of them come out a lot easier than this one did. Um, this one has a lot of glue on it. I can feel each piece, but they don't care about that. They're just going to want me to take this off. But, yeah. Um, so, if you're wondering why I didn't post any videos this week, you know why now. Um, I do apologize. I wanted to put some videos out for y'all. But, family comes first. Y'all know how it is. Um... Yeah, but other than that, I hope I'm able to get something out tomorrow. I'm going to definitely try. Um, this one should come out tonight. But 
Yeah, other than that, hit me up with comments. Ask me whatever questions you want to ask. Um, been quite lonely this week on there. Haven't had many comments. I did get one today asking me asking about a welfare check, which I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I mean, hit me up. Let me know what you're thinking about. If you have any questions or you just want to give me advice on motors, um, go ahead. I feel this way is the best way there is. Um, if you have not tried it this way, please try. Because trust me, you're never going to go back to beating copper. Um, or chiseling copper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just way easier. But yeah, for now, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.